is the most famous chocolate cake in the world. It was created by an apprentice in 1832 and today is the business hub of the historic Hotel Sacher, where more than 270,000 cakes are baked every year. The original recipe has been a very well-kept secret by the Sacher Hotel, but finally they have decided to reveal it. Today you will make the Sacher Tour. Hi, I'm Carlos Salgado. The Sacher Hotel in Austria has published an approximation of the original recipe of their star cake, the Sacher Tort. But the secret ingredient has not been revealed. Many claim it's a combination of chocolates from three countries. The truth is that the classic Sacher Tort is nothing more than a very dense chocolate cake cut in half, filled and glazed with apricot jam and finally covered with a thick chocolate glaze. If you want to see the video and the recipe of the Sacher Tort, I invite you to go to their website, sacher.com. Today you will make the recipe published by the hotel. Let's get started. For the cake you need 130 grams of dark chocolate with a cocoa content greater than 55%, 150 grams of butter at room temperature, 100 grams of powdered sugar, 6 eggs, 100 grams of granulated sugar, 140 grams of all-purpose flour, and finally a vanilla bean. If you don't have this type of natural vanilla, use a tablespoon of extract or essence. Preheat the oven to 340 Fahrenheit or 170 degrees Celsius. You are going to line a cake mold of about 9 inches or 23 centimeters. It's best to line it with parchment paper. Melt the chocolate in a bain marie or in the microwave. Reserve so that it reaches a room temperature. Remove the seeds from the vanilla bean. Beat at medium speed the butter with the powdered sugar and the vanilla. If you don't have natural vanilla, use a tablespoon of extract or essence. Cream very well. Separate the eggs. Reserve the egg whites. Add the yolks into the butter mixture one by one. Now, add the melt chocolate and mix a little. Whip the whites. You could add a touch of salt and a tablespoon of lemon juice at the beginning. Once they begin to show some peaks, add the granulated sugar in three parts. You must get a smooth and firm texture, visibly shiny.
Now sift a little flour over the chocolate mixture and alternate with a little meringue. Fold very carefully. Repeat the same process three times. Pour the mix into the mold. Smooth the top. Bake at 340 Fahrenheit or 170 degrees Celsius for about 10 to 15 minutes with the oven door slightly open. Close the oven door and bake for about 15 more minutes. Once it's ready, tip the cake onto a rack and let it cool for about 20 minutes. Then remove the paper, turn it over again and let it cool completely. For the filling, you will need 200 grams of the best apricot jam on the market. I use the entire jar of 284 grams of Sandelford apricot jam. When the cake is cold, cut it in half. If you don't have a cake cutter, you can use this trick with magnets. Place them on the knife for support and proceed to cut delicately and firmly. Heat the jam until it's smooth. Brush both cakes. Place them together again. And now brush the entire cake. Let it cook. In the original recipe of the hotel, they suggest for the chocolate glaze 125 grams of water, 200 grams of granulated sugar, and 150 grams of dark chocolate. But since this is the exact amount, we will fall short when it comes to frosting, so I multiplied it by 2. The leftover can be kept for months and can be used as a topping for eclairs or profiteroles. Boil 250 grams of water with 400 grams of sugar for about 5 minutes until you obtain a syrup. Let the syrup cool down a bit. Stirring continuously and add 300 grams of dark chocolate little by little. You must obtain a thick liquid. You have to let it cool, always stirring from time to time until it reaches approximately between 37 and 34 degrees Celsius. Let a little glaze run over a wooden spoon. There should be a layer of about 4 millimeters or 5 or 32 of an inch. Proceed to glaze. Quickly, go around the sides and then to the center.
then smooth the top. and let the glaze crystallize for about two and three hours. At the hotel, they add a stamp as a decoration. This cake tastes so much better the next day. Because it's a very dense cake, the tradition dictates that it has to be served with whipped cream or chantilly. The aroma and flavor of chocolate and apricot together are unique. I hope you can prepare and enjoy this unique cake at home. Remember, all these videos have a version in English, Spanish and Portuguese. If you like this video, please give a like. And if you like my content, please subscribe for more pastry lessons. Thanks for joining me and see you soon.